My friends, life often presents us with moments of uncertainty, where the path ahead seems shrouded in darkness. We've all faced times when our circumstances appear hopeless and our dreams feel out of reach. In these moments, we long for a guiding light, a beacon of hope to lead us forward. Today, we will explore the profound power of how walking by faith can transform our lives. If you believe that God can make a difference in your life today, let us stand together in faith. I will pray a fervent prayer with you in the mighty name of Jesus. So watch until the end and open your hearts to receive the blessings of this prayer. My dear friends, walking by faith is not merely a suggestion. It's a divine command that holds the key to unlocking God's blessings in our lives. In 2 Corinthians 5 verse 7, we are reminded, for we walk by faith, not by sight. These words challenge us to trust in God's plan, even when our human eyes can't see the way forward. Faith is the currency of the spiritual realm, the bridge between our earthly limitations and God's infinite possibilities. It's the courage to take that first step into the unknown, trusting that God's hand will guide us. My friends, let's begin by understanding the true essence of faith. Faith is not just a feeling or a fleeting emotion. It's a firm conviction in the promises of God. Hebrews 11 verse 1 beautifully defines it for us. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. This verse reveals that faith gives substance to our hopes and makes the invisible tangible in our lives. It's the spiritual lens through which we view our circumstances, allowing us to see beyond our present struggles to the glorious future God has prepared for us. Walking by faith means trusting God's word over our own understanding or the opinions of others. It's about aligning our thoughts words, and actions with God's promises, even when everything around us seems to contradict them. This kind of faith isn't passive. It's an active, dynamic force that moves mountains and opens doors that seemed forever shut. Consider the story of Noah, a man who demonstrated extraordinary faith. Genesis 6 Verses 14 to 16 tell us how God instructed Noah to build an ark, preparing for a flood in a time when rain was unknown. Noah's faith led him to obey God's command, despite facing ridicule and skepticism from those around him. His unwavering trust in God's word saved not only his family, but also ensured the continuation of life on earth. My dear friends, like Noah, we too are called to walk by faith in our daily lives. This means stepping out of our comfort zones, facing our fears, and trusting God's guidance, even when the path seems unclear. It's about holding on to God's promises when circumstances tell us to give up. Remember, faith is not the absence of doubt but the choice to believe despite our doubts. As we cultivate this kind of faith, we position ourselves to experience God's power in unprecedented ways. My friends, now that we understand the foundation of faith, let's explore how we can live it out daily. Walking by faith isn't a one-time event. It's a continuous journey that requires persistence and courage. In Proverbs 3, verses 5 to 6, we're instructed, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean, not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him, and He shall direct your paths. 
This passage reminds us that faith involves surrendering our own logic and embracing God's wisdom. Living out our faith means making decision based on God's word rather than our feelings or circumstances. It's about choosing to praise God in the midst of our trials, knowing that He works all things for our good. When we face challenges, instead of succumbing to fear or doubt, we can declare God's promises over our situations. Consider the example of Jehoshaphat in 2 Chronicles 20. When faced with a vast army, instead of panicking, he sought God's guidance. His faith-filled response in verse 12 is powerful. O oh, our God, will you not judge them? For we have no power against this great multitude that is coming against us, nor do we know what to do, but our eyes are upon you. Jehoshaphat's faith led him to praise God before seeing the victory and God delivered them miraculously. My dear friends, like Jehoshaphat, we too can choose faith over fear in our daily lives. When bills pile up, we can declare God's provision. When sickness strikes, we can stand on God's promise of healing. When relationships strain, we can trust God for restoration. Living out our faith means taking God at His word and acting on it, even when our circumstances haven't changed yet. Remember, faith without works is dead, as James 2 verse 17 tells us. So, let's not just talk about faith, but let's live it out boldly. Let's step out in faith, trusting God to make a way where there seems to be no way. As we do this, We'll witness God's power manifesting in our lives in extraordinary ways. My friends, let's now focus on the incredible rewards that come from walking by faith. God is faithful to honor those who trust in Him, and the blessings of faith are truly transformative. In Ephesians 3 verse 20, we're reminded of God's power now to him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think, according to the power that works in us. This verse reveals that when we walk by faith, we open ourselves to God's limitless possibilities. One of the greatest rewards of faith is the peace that surpasses all understanding. When we truly trust God, we can rest in His promises, knowing that He's in control even in the midst of life's storms. This peace isn't dependent on our circumstances. It's a gift that comes from aligning our hearts with God's will. Walking by faith also leads to spiritual growth and maturity. As we trust God through challenges, our faith is strengthened and we develop a deeper relationship with Him. We begin to see life from God's perspective, and our character is molded to reflect Christ more closely. Consider the story of the woman with the issue of blood in Mark 5, verses 25 to 34. Her faith led her to push through the crowd to touch Jesus' garment, believing she would be healed. Jesus' response in verse 34 is powerful. He said, Daughter, your faith has made you well. Go in peace and be healed of your affliction. Her faith not only brought physical healing, but also spiritual restoration and peace. My dear friends, like this woman, when we walk by faith, we position ourselves for divine encounters and miraculous interventions. Faith opens doors that seemed forever shut, brings healing to broken areas of our lives, and allows us to fulfill our God-given purpose. Remember, without faith, it is impossible to please Him. As Hebrews 11 verse 6 tells us, 
So let's commit to walking by faith daily, trusting God's promises, even when we can't see the outcome. As we do this, we'll experience the joy, peace, and fulfillment that come from a life lived in unwavering trust in our faithful God. Now, to all those within the sound of my voice, let us go to the Lord in prayer. I want you to pray this prayer with me or listen to this prayer in faith so that you can have all the blessings of this prayer. Let us pray to our gracious and loving God. Heavenly Father, Almighty God, I come before you with a heart full of thanksgiving and praise, for you are the creator of heaven and earth. You spoke and the world came into being. You hold the stars in place and command the seas with your voice. You are the God who parts the waters, moves mountains, and brings the dead to life. There is none like you, O Lord, full of majesty, wisdom, and power. You are my rock and my fortress, my deliverer and my shield. I lift your name on high, for you are worthy of all glory, honor, and praise. All things are possible with you, Lord, and in your hands my life is secure. Thank you, Father, for the gift of life today. Thank you for the air I breathe, for the strength in my body, and for the grace to see another day. I thank you for your faithfulness, for you have never left me nor forsaken me, even when I have stumbled. You have provided for me, sustained me, and surrounded me with your love. Lord, I acknowledge that I have fallen short of your glory. Forgive me for the times I have sinned, for the times I have doubted, and for the times I have allowed fear to dictate my actions instead of walking by faith. Cleanse my heart from every sin and every moment of unbelief. As you have forgiven me, I also forgive those who have hurt or wronged me. Lord, I surrender my life into your hands afresh. I choose to walk by faith and not by sight, trusting you with every step I take. I refuse to be led by fear, worry, or doubt. I declare in the name of Jesus that my faith is not in my circumstances, but in you, the unchanging God. I rebuke every spirit of fear and anxiety that seeks to cloud my judgment and steal my peace. In the name of Jesus, I bind the lies of the enemy that whisper defeat, failure, and hopelessness. I declare that I will walk in confidence, knowing that you are directing my steps, and that your plans for me are good plans to give me hope and a future. I will stand on your promises, Lord, believing that what you have spoken over my life will come to pass in due time. Father, I ask that you increase my faith today. Strengthen my trust in you so that I will not waver, no matter what challenges or obstacles come my way. Help me to keep my eyes fixed on you, the author and finisher of my faith. I ask for your blessings upon my life, that I may walk in the fullness of your purpose daily. Bless me with wisdom to make decisions that align with your will. Bless me with your peace that surpasses all understanding, even when circumstances seem uncertain. Bless me with strength and perseverance to run the race set before me, never giving up, but pressing forward in faith. I declare that I will walk in victory today, for I am more than a conqueror through Christ Jesus. I rebuke every spirit of infirmity, every sickness and disease, 
and every weakness that tries to take root in my body, and I declare healing in the name of Jesus. By the stripes of Jesus, I am healed, and I claim your divine health over my life. Lord, I ask for your protection over me and my loved ones. Cover us with your wings and shield us from the attacks of the enemy. In the mighty name of Jesus, I bind every plan of the enemy to bring confusion, discouragement, or division, and I declare that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. Merciful Father, I ask that you send your angels to surround us and guard us from harm. Let your peace reign in our hearts and homes, and let your presence be with us wherever we go. Lord, as I say this prayer, together with everyone listening, I am grateful for every heart that is opening before you right now. We come in agreement as we lift our voices to you, knowing that you hear and answer us. We ask for the strength to walk by faith and not by sight, trusting you in every season of our lives. We declare victory in the name of Jesus over every battle we face. We ask for healing over every broken place, every sickness, every disease, and every wound. We thank you, Lord, for the Holy Spirit who leads us into all truth and empowers us to walk in faith and boldness. Lord, we claim protection, peace, and your blessings upon our lives and the lives of our loved ones today and every day. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Thank you, Lord, for hearing and answering my prayer. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray, amen. If you were blessed by this prayer, type the word amen in the comment section below. I declare that all the blessings of this prayer are now upon you in the name of Jesus. You can help us to reach more persons and spread the gospel. You can do this by sharing the video with a friend or family member and by clicking the like button. Also remember to subscribe to our channel Daily Jesus Prayers for more videos that will bless your heart and uplift your spirit. We appreciate all your support. You're blessed to be a blessing. Please feel free to leave your prayer request in the comment section so that we can present them before God for your blessings and victory, and so that other believers on the YouTube platform and all over the world can join us and start praying for you right now. Stand in faith with us while we pray. To God be all the glory. May the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all.